We feel he was having another look at it and carelessly put it down someplace out of sight. Oh, we'll find it around the house somewhere. Oh, sure. Sure. I wonder where Willie could have gone. We feel that Willie heard the call of the open road again. I'm sure Willie is once more a carefree rover, traveling along, singing a vagabond song. <laughs> Beautifully expressed, Herbert. I can't take credit for the words, Harriet. I once heard them sung in a theater by a young man with a megaphone in his mouth. <laughs> Rooning, I believe they called it. I do so admire your sophistication. <laughs> Wherever Willie is, our blessings go with him. He's completely worthy of our trust, and I know you must agree. Oh, sure I do, Mr. Johnson. Hazel, you mustn't blame yourself. No, but I'm the one that sent him over to the Johnsons. Well, he didn't take much. Well, only a bow, but he might have taken the most important thing they got, their faith in human beings. Oh, I hope not. Well, there's only one way to find out. Do you have an idea, Hazel? Well, it ain't exactly honest, but it's worth trying. That bow come from the treasure shop. Now, this is what I think I ought to do. Herbert, if it should prove that Willie did make off with our flower bowl, you'd find it quite distressing, wouldn't you? Oh, no doubt it would cause you great concern too, my dear. Yes, I'd be most unhappy. However, we both know that his innocence is beyond question. Absolutely. I believe I'll take a stroll in the park, Harriet, if you don't mind. Oh, not at all, dear. In fact, I think I'll... Uh, I think I'll go next door and have a chat with Dorothy Baxter. Splendid idea. And when we return, we'll discover where Willie put it. I'm positive we will. <laughs> flower bowl in the shape of a bird bath? Yes, yes, about a year or so ago, I ordered six of them from a dealer. Oh, good, you got any left? Well, uh, they were very popular, you know, quite a choice item. But I might be able to help you. Just one second, please. <laughs> Well, this is your lucky day. I'll say. How much is it? Well, I can tell that you value fine things, so I'll make you a special price. Shall we say ten dollars? Why don't we say five? Well, five is so unlucky. <laughs> Can't we make it nine? Oh, nine's a terrible number for me. What about eight even? Very well. Eight fifty. <laughs> but I'm only doing this because you're a connoisseur and you appreciate beauty. Yes, you've made an excellent purchase, sir. This is one of my best pieces. Very kind of you to make me a special price of ten dollars. Well, we always try to favor a connoisseur such as you. I can't tell you how happy I am to get this. Pleasure is mutual, madam. There you are. And here's your change. Oh, uh, there was no tax involved? No, it was $12 even. A special <laughs> price for a connoisseur such as you. Oh, thank you. Let me see you to the door. Oh, thank you very much. All right. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Are you home? Dear, what a coincidence. I, I just found this in here. Oh, well, th this is a real one. I, I found it in the garage where Willie must have left it. I'm sorry, Hazel. We locked the garage as soon as we knew Willie had gone. Oh, well, you did? Mm -hmm. Well, I guess we both might as well fess up. <laughs> I guess we'd better. I bought this in the treasure shop. Me too. You know, poor dear Herbert, he, he had such great faith in Willie. I didn't want him to be hurt. Oh, well, I didn't want either one of you to be hurt. Thank you, Hazel. Well, our motives were good, but now we've got one too many. Well, I'll get rid of mine. You tell him you found yours. All right. I guess we're a pair of old softies. <laughs> <laughs> 